Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlin's new vlog. So the first thing I want to talk about is like people have been like coming for me because I like to deep clean. I don't get it. Why? Why are y'all coming for me? Um, because I recently showed you guys that I was deep cleaning like all of my cabinets in my kitchen. I feel like I'm actually this all the time. I literally haven't done it in a couple years. Um, so I don't know why y'all coming for me. I like to clean. I feel like if I didn't do these things, people would be like, oh my gosh, she's so lazy to do You can never come for me for that because I like to deep clean. Um, and something I haven't done and I think prolonging was deep cleaning the kitchen cabinets. It was crazy. And it's like this is normally something I'll film and I'd want to film and I would be excited to film. And I know there's a large portion of people who would love to see it. I'd love to see it. I love when people film stuff like that. Y'all, I'm suffering with a bad case of judgment. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like judgment lately. And and like just like constantly and so much of it just like repeatedly just like repeatedly and repeatedly is just really getting to me and it's just preventing me from filming what i want to film and i have felt like this in the past i have i've been on youtube for like a decade now and i have felt this way but this feels different it feels more heavy more extreme um it's paralyzing because it's like i don't know if it's a trauma response um just like all of the nitpicking belittling it's you guys are taking away things that i enjoy like thoroughly taking it away and i'm not gonna fully have judgment stop me from showing things i love i can't and that even includes something as simple as deep cleaning y'all you need to be doing it too <laughs> like remember to deep clean your homes like twice a year maybe even more whatever floats your boat but things like going through the cabinet taking everything down like do that shit. And people are just like coming for me i don't know i don't like it i don't like it i think i've just noticed that like youtube really takes away joy it's like the act it's so weird it's like the act of youtube and outcome of me uploading a video or two different things i love filming editing i love editing i love uploading i love the whole process of the filming the editing and all of that the minute my video hits the big screen that's that's where the joy is just taken for me because people are so horribly harsh lately and it's just been a lot and my anxiety has been it, it hasn't been good and i just noticed i'm very introverted this is new this is very new um when i was younger i guess i would consider myself um the opposite of that and then as i got older i was i know there's a word for being both um i was very much in the middle sometimes introverted sometimes not da -da -da. Now, as I'm like older, I'm just like such an introvert. Like, I don't care about having like friends. I don't care about like leaving my apartment all the time. Like, my joy comes from just like peace. My happiness comes from calm. Yes, there are a lot of things I want to do in my life. Um, and I just I can't do those things yet. I haven't gotten there yet because hi, me, the you see the size I am. So there are things that I want to do and that I would be doing if it wasn't for my weight. That's a whole other story. We ain't gotta get into that. But it also kind of just brings me to like people want more. People just give us more. You're giving us nothing. What do you want me to give? <laughs> I'm a 500 pound, 5'2", 32 year old woman with severe mental issues like depression and anxiety and bipolar and etc etc what do you what do you want me to give like i feel like i'm giving i feel like i'm giving all that i have i'm giving all that i have and it's just not enough and i understand a few comments here and there saying you're not enough you're not doing enough etc etc but when you hear it like from so many people and just so constant and repeated it really gets to you it, it starts to become like kind of abusive it feels abusive um and i don't like it like i have thick skin clearly because like i still do youtube and i can handle the hate rather well i should be allowed to express like the way that i feel and how people make me feel and i feel like it's really important that you guys hear that a lot of you make me feel bad about myself or just you guys turn my happiness into the opposite of happiness and i don't like it and i don't want to be gaslit because I, I hate that because i feel like i can't share how i feel with you guys and it begins to feel just very one-sided like you guys can tell me all these things about me and nitpick and like express yourselves and anybody you want to send me long ass messages about how horrible the person i am or how boring my content is but then like when i go to tell you guys hey like can we slow down a little bit like you guys turn around and like make me seem like i'm just like this raging see you next tuesday when i'm not i'm just like up a little bit so that's another reason why i'm just having like a hard time feeling and just kind of needing a break from that sort of headspace the feeling of wanting to see more from you was being fueled by your daily uploads you showed us basically the same thing for 30 days straight most youtubers plan some things to do during vlogmas so it doesn't feel like the same thing every day if you just go back to normal uploads the comments will focus more on your new content it's not that difficult to understand so i have an amazing weight loss surgery update i have officially scheduled an appointment so the appointment is scheduled so i got an email from like the person who schedules the appointments saying that these are the dates that we do um like the is it intake intake appointments i don't really know what it's called i'm sorry um, but she was the one who schedules those and she said these are you know the options and so i picked one chose one and she said okay i'll get you scheduled and then i will send you another email that is going to show you what that um appointment is going to consist of and how long it takes and like the rules for it and everything so i officially have the email um it's a whole day affair it's a whole day affair oh my god um i think the appointment is over six hours so I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. It's going to be a long drive. It's going to be stressful. Um, but I'm excited to take this step because this is like the real true beginning steps is this appointment because a lot of important information is said and you learn a lot of things. And obviously I'll share more about it when I do have the appointment. Obviously I can't film there. That would be crazy, but I will share as much as I feel comfortable sharing. Um, 
I, I go back and forth. I'm like, do I really want to share this journey? Do I really want to share this journey? Because weight loss surgery is something that I feel like is the final tool for me. And it's like, if this doesn't work, then what? Then like truly, I've tried everything. I've done everything. And I feel like when people get weight loss surgery, it's because they're finally like, I've tried everything and nothing works. And that's where I'm at. Like, this is like, this is it. And Feline is incredible. Like the fact that she wants to help me pay for weight loss surgery, I don't know, it like warms my heart a lot and it lessens the stress and obviously lessens how much I have to save because like I've also been super stressed about that. I'm just gonna find everything out, you know, during that first appointment and what they think and like the steps I need to take. And I am just so excited to just like get the list, like what type of tests do I need beforehand? Like cause sometimes they want like to do a sleep test, they wanna get your heart checked or all types of different things. And I know they're probably gonna wanna check my gallbladder. Um, I feel like that's probably what's gonna happen because it's very, very common to get your gallbladder taken out during um, weight loss surgery. So I just feel like there's gonna be like things, especially like they're probably gonna want me to see a psychologist and that's something I already know. But I'm just excited to get that list, to do those things, to do the responsible things, to do the right things and just check, did it, check, did it check did it so i'm really excited to just get everything together like my anxiety and my anxiousness and just everything is like oh my god i want this appointment to be over with so i have to wait it's in a couple weeks so it is gonna be happening though and i'm so excited oh my god wow i'm like pumped it is nice to hear her talk about weight loss surgery with more realization that this is a big thing and not just another tool people can use if they are overweight she sounds hopeful, but I would be really surprised if she would actually get the surgery anytime soon. I feel like her saying over and over again that her goal is to get weight loss surgery doesn't mean anything for her mindset. She should say something like her goal is to get healthier or lose weight. I just hope she understands that even after weight loss surgery she is still going to struggle with her mental health. This is not an answer to every problem she has. Especially with this whole weight loss surgery thing, like I'm so excited. Oh. I really hope this is good for me. I hope that this is finally like my turn, my turn to do the damn thing and do the right thing. And I don't know, I just really, I, I think I've let go of false dreams. Like I've let go of like, oh, one day I just, I wanna be the most athletic person, you know, like that stupid, like it's never gonna happen. I think what I really am aiming for now is to just live. I wanna live and by living, I wanna experience and do. And that's what I want. I don't wanna be the best of the best. I don't wanna lose so much weight that I'm like skinny. That's not what I want. I wanna live, I wanna experience, and I wanna do. I think that with the surgeon, she's uh, she's pretty good. Um, the research I've done on her and like you get to watch this little like video thing and like learn about her and She seems legitness. Okay, <laughs> like it's all good reviews um, Obviously like the surgery part does scare me. I've had a hysterectomy and It went beautifully, but You just never know. It's kind of scary. I don't want to think about that though I try not to like think about the scary the what-ifs um, we're not even there yet, so let's not even, uh, but yeah, the appointment is officially scheduled and I'm just really excited and I'll definitely tell you guys more about it if I feel comfortable and I don't know. I just, I don't want to be, uh, persuaded, per persuaded, is that the word? Um, in any direction because some people are like, you don't need weight loss surgery. It's such a bad idea. And I'm just like, why don't do this to me? don't do this to me i don't want your opinion i didn't ask <laughs> like and i mean that in the nicest way possible like i just i don't want your opinion on this i don't want anyone's opinion like at all and then people get upset if i don't take their advice it's like i ain't asking not with this because i need to choose this for me and do this for me being a public figure, people are going to give their opinions and advice even when you are not asking. There is nothing you can do to stop people from giving their opinion, but you can control the impact it has on your choices. 
Why are you still so impressionable that you think some random people online can make you change your life choices? The effect your audience has on you is up to you. The views and subscribers keep coming, we have seen that over the years. So maybe it's time to start asking yourself why you allow people's opinions to sway you. And I would definitely stop talking to your audience like they are the worst thing that ever happened to you. Telling your audience that they make you feel negative can never result in a more positive vibe. If you would take any advice may it be that you should stop talking about the negative all the time. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.